Good morning, everyone. Good morning. It's Allison with Upright and Caffeinated. This morning, we're going to do the April Club Couture Transfer, and I am so excited about this one. Look at how gorgeous this is. This is amazing. I love it. I think um, Chalk Couture really knocked it out of the park with this one. It's so awesome. So we're going to do that. I'm using this um, 9 by 12 uh, chalkboard. I am going to take this off really quickly, and then we're going to get started with doing the vintage typewriter, which I'm so excited about. So if you're a member of Club Couture, this is what you received as your club transfer. And um, if you are not a member of Club Couture, you can join. It is $19.99 a month. You get the transfer and three chalk paste singles, so three little packets of chalk paste. And um, you get that every month shipped right to you for $19.99. So we're going to do this month, this morning, but I'm just going to take this paste off real quick. And I'm using my paste scraper. I just um, sprayed a little bit of water. And that's all we're going to use for now. We're going to take a board eraser and just clean the board off, but... This is going to take all that paste right off. It's so nice. So, good morning, Mom. If you're joining live, say hi. So, I know you're joining. I know I'm early this morning. Um, I got up early and went for a run. Went for a short run because it's raining. Um, but oddly, both boys are still asleep. So, I thought, eh, we'll go live. Well, it's somewhat quiet right now. All right, so I've got that kind of picked up. I'm just going to use, I've got baby wipes right here. I'm just going to use a baby wipe, and I'm going to just pick up all that chunky paste right there. I'm going to scrape that little last bit off. There we go. And then what I'm going to do is take my board eraser. It's a little bit wet. I've got some clean water right here. I'm just going to get a little bit wet. And then I'm just going to, wipe the board down one last time just to make sure I've gotten all that paste off. And that's it. That's all it takes. So easy to clean these boards. If you have a board eraser and paste scraper, it just takes no time at all. All right. So now we're ready. I'm going to dry this off and then we're going to get started. Um, so actually, I can dry, dry it with one side and fuzz with the other. Let's do that. Oh, my chalk, my scissors, I had to hide them because the boys were grabbing them, and I just turned around to grab my scissors, and they're not there. So hang on one second. Let me grab some scissors. I will be right back. Okay. I'm actually using kitchen scissors because my chocolate couture scissors are further away in the office and my kitchen scissors were right here in the kitchen. Okay. So let's just dry, dry this off. So if you are, good morning, Julie, if you are home and staying home, like I feel like most everybody is, unless you're, unless you're working an essential job and you're having to go to work, but if you're home, I would love to know, are, is the weather nice and would you rather the weather be different? Because um, I was talking to a neighbor yesterday from afar, <laughs> we had like an entire yard in between us. And she said she almost she doesn't know if she's glad that the weather is nice or if she'd rather the weather be bad and then be stuck inside. So I would love to know, you know, which do you prefer? Nice weather outside where you can at least maybe get out in your yard or maybe you don't have a yard. And so if it's nice outside, you can't go outside. See, that would stink. That's how I feel like. Um, we were closer to downtown before we moved, before we built this house. And so if we wanted to go outside, you know, it's, it's a shared, you know, neighborhood park and 
you know, you, you have sidewalks and there's lots of people and it's very congested. So I would think that social distancing would be really difficult, you know, in the city, close to the city, whereas kind of far out in the country, at least my kids can go outside in our own yard and play right now. Um, so I don't know, which would you guys prefer? Nice weather or like yucky weather when you have to stay home? All right, so all I'm doing so far is the typewriter. So I just fuzzed that. Just wanna make sure I got all the chalk and that's dried off. That looks good. Okay, so I'm gonna take my typewriter and just line it up where I want it. And I want this kind of right in the center of this board here. I think that looks great, look right about there. Okay, I am just gonna, this has a really large silk screen area, okay? This silk screen area is really big, so you wanna just make sure that you don't have any bubbles. And that looks pretty good. So I'm using three different colors, and this is going to be, um, good morning, Lana, Lana or Lana? And it's gonna be 81, oh my gosh, 81. That is definitely summer weather. <laughs> All right. Um, so yeah, so what I'm gonna do today, I'm gonna use different colors and I'm, this is gonna be a little bit more technically advanced. We're gonna peel parts, we're gonna dry parts. Um, so it's not going to be as simple as um, as just you know chalking it in real easily. So so I'm just trying to figure out where I want to start, and I think I'm going to start down here and try to get kind of this this outside this part, and then we're going to do the center part. So I want to do want to do this outside part teal. Okay, so let's start with our teal. And I'm just gonna make sure that I have enough moisture in this paste. I'm gonna add a little bit more water because this is, even though I'm gonna lift as I go, um, this is gonna take me a little bit of extra time. And I don't want this paste drying on the, on the silk screen and not making it all the way down to the, to the surface. So I'm gonna make sure that I have really moist paste right now. That's looking much better. So all I'm adding is just a little bit of distilled water. These little spray bottles from Chalk Couture are fantastic. But if you have a little, you know, before they came out with those, I had one that, you know, those little spray bottles that you get for 99 cents at Walmart or something. Those are totally okay. Or if you even have um, like a bottle of distilled water or something, just, you know, pour a little water in the cap or something and then pour it in. We have lots of options. So, okay, so we're going to start at the bottom here. And I just want to chalk in just, there's a little blue line right here. I want to chalk right into that line. And I'm trying to be super careful. So, see what I mean about this is going to take some time just because I'm trying to be so careful and cautious. Okay. Ooh. So I am just chalking in this bottom part. And there we go. And that's good for now. Let's go ahead and lift that up and dry that off. Okay, so I'm just gonna hold this. I'm not gonna fold it back over because then all that, that teal is gonna get on the, the keyboard part and I want that a different color. Now I'm gonna just grab my dryer and we're gonna just dry the part that we just chopped. If I can get this to turn on, here we go. I'm just going to lay that right back down. 
And then I'm just pressing down on the slip screen areas that I haven't chopped. There's no need to press it down on the areas that you've already chopped. So, good morning, Christy. Good morning. All right. So now I'm going back in. I'm getting the sides that I want to teal. Okay, and then this part, I want, I think this is gonna be a little bit difficult. I want this part teal. And like this part teal. <laughs> there we go, that should be good, okay. And I'm using one of our mini squeegees. Um, and the only reason I'm not using the multi-tool is I'm saving that to use for a different color. If I had multiple multi-tools, I would use those, but just using this for now. Okay, so I think that's good. So now I'm gonna peel this part off where we just chopped. Perfect, and we're gonna drive that off. Okay. And I hear kids move on the stairs. So. <laughs> okay. All right, that looks good. So again, I'm gonna press down on the parts that I need to chop. All right, so now I think I wanna go with the next color. I wanna do this part in white. There's a couple of parts that I wanna do in white, but I wanna start with this bottom part. All right, so let's chalk this part down here. I'm just gonna chalk all of the keyboard part in white. All right. And I feel like I'm getting some blue, so I'm just gonna get rid of that squeegee. I'm gonna get a new squeegee because I don't wanna dip a squeegee that has a little bit of teal on the, on the tip of the squeegee. I don't wanna dip that back into my white paste jar because then it's gonna contaminate that whole jar. And that would not be fun at all. Okay, then the last part I wanna do is um, this like paper part up here. So I wanna get this. just to about right there. And then I do want to get this line right here. Okay. So now I think I'm gonna peel it this way. Let's do this. Um, 
just chalk this entire thing in one color. <laughs> you don't have to do multiple colors and keep peeling and drying and peeling and drying. Um, it's just, this is what the way I wanted to chalk it in this morning. <laughs> Um, but you don't have to do that at all. This would look beautiful if you chalked it in just all as one color too. Okay. So now I think we're ready. Once I find these lids. Now I think we're ready to do the rest of this. Okay. So now for those other parts, I'm using gold. This is my gold shimmer. I love gold shimmer. It's a really pretty color. Ooh. So I'm just going to check comments really quickly. Good morning. <laughs> Okay, so now again, I'm using a mini squeegee. I'm using the gold shimmer. And we're just going to chuck this right here in this part. I think we've got some Avengers playing in the uh, living room there, it sounds like. <laughs> One of the boys woke up. <laughs> All right. So that looks great. Now we can peel the whole thing off. Look how pretty that is. So I did get a little bit of teal into the into the white right there, but you can't see it very well. Look at that. Oh, I love it, love it, love it. Um, so I think this looks so pretty. <laughs> this is such a pretty transfer. Um, so I can tell I have a little one who's about to lose his mind there in the living room. So I'm gonna do this part really quickly. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to Put just a few little words right here in the little paper. Okay. And to do this, I am going to use the multi tool and I'm going to use some white. Good morning, buddy. All right. So, can you say good morning to everyone? Mom, yeah. Can we open? The box today. Maybe. Let me try this. Okay, so I'm gonna dry the words everything is really quickly. Right there. Okay. And this is an old transfer that I'm using for the words, but I mean, you could use. Can I dump that in there, buddy? Can that go in the water? Thank you. Um, so you could use words from any transfer, but I use that one. It says everything is possible. So I love this. I love the vintage typewriter. I love the fact that you can use all different kinds of words from different transfers to put in the little paper. There's just so much you can do with this. Um, it's a really like real versatile transfer, I think. And I love it, love it, love it. So good morning, good morning. So I'm super excited about this one. Um, it does come with these words that say, take me pipe and make me up as I go. Okay, give me one second. So, so yes, I have a five-year-old who's awake. Do, will you come say hi to everyone so they can see your cute face? Say good morning. Can you say good morning? We just woke up. 
So if you guys have any questions, let me know. Um, again, this is April's Club Couture. So if you're a member of the club, you've already received this. If you're interested in joining the club, uh, it's $19.99 a month and you can join. You wouldn't start until next month. However, you can add this on um, for an additional $19.99 a month or for an additional $19.99, sorry, $19.99 and you can get this one sent to you even if you joined now. So again, if anybody has any questions, leave them below. I'm happy to answer them and we are, we're going to sign off and say have a great day, right? Can you tell everybody have a great day? No? Okay. Well, have a great day. I'll talk to you guys soon. <laughs>